Hi guys, it's Larry from Larry Life, and today I'm here filming a video and a review of my um, Japanese submarine here. As you can see, this is the I-58, and yeah, it is a battle submarine. And also remember, guys, submarines can go underwater. And you know what that means? Submersible model, just like the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, these guys are made to go underwater, and I think you know what a submarine is, so let's get into the detail, everyone. So, as you can see, um, at the bow here, it, um, the, well, first the paint color of it is like a grayish on the top, then near the bottom, a reddish. And, yeah, here's the little stand it comes with. So, now we'll get into the basic. So, first thing here, we have an airplane, as you can see. My phone will focus. There we go. We have an airplane at the front. Now there must be cargo bay at the bottom of the air, um, submarine to store the airplane in. The next, um, I have there's two cranes or guns here. I think they're cranes. Then see this little track. I think it might be like a launch pad or something for the airplane. Which well, looks like there's a seaplane by the bottom of it. Then right here is the bridge, as you can see, with two, um, with not two, I think three antennas. And I think that's a periscope on the front, that circle thing. So that way can sail through the water and look through and look for ships. Now as we go more to the mills um part of it, stern, as you can see here's another crane, a mast, and then you've got the stern. Now underneath the um not underneath the submarine it has the propeller and rudder detail there. Then it has like little submarine details at the bottom, guys. And then over here would be where the torpedo is launched out. And I'm going to show you something cool real quick too that came with it. Here it is. So as you can see guys right here, it tells about it. If you want guys, you can pause the video and read all of this. Or if you want to stay with me in the video, then continue on. So, here's some fun facts. Again, you can pause the video to read them. And, um, yeah, so has this submarine sank? Yes, because it says the submarine was disarmed and flooded on April 1st, 1946. So, April Fool's Day, not, yeah, April Fool's Day, it sunk. Well, they sank it, I think so. Um, so, like, other bad guys can't, like, get whatever the, sh um, the submarine was holding. So, yeah. So, this guy used to bomb ships and not bomb, like, oh, yeah, possibly. And torpedo them from underwater, too, to sink them. Well, guys, that's my review. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And get this video to 10,000 likes. And also, guess what, guys? We are 23,000 subscribers. Yay! Well, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!